Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in the previous video, we started with update debugging. What is the purpose of update debugging? Whenever you have a code which is written using update task, at that time, if you want to debug that code, normal debugging will not help. You need to own the checkbox of update debugging. And yes, update debugging always, always trigger at the after the commit work only. Whenever you will go for debugging, at that time, system will not execute the code which is written using update task. Once commit work will happen, after that, the system will come on to the logic which is written using update task. Now, I will go for very, very simple or very small example. Anyways, because the full explanation of update function module, we have a dedicated videos there itself. Here, we are going for update debugging so that in the same playlist, Whenever you will see the update debugging, you will not get confused. At least you know that this is the update debugging. That's why I'm covering this topic here. I'm going for an introduction to the update debugging. Suppose, now what I will do, I will create a function module. Very small demo. Suppose I'm going to SC37 transaction code and I'm creating a function module. And we will call that function module in update task. Suppose I am saying Z update function module. I will simply go for create. You can use any function group which you have available. Any function group you can use. I will also use any function group which is already available. Or you can create new also. It is totally your wish. You all know how to create a function group. I will choose the existing function group itself. I will go for short text. Suppose update function model. I will go for save. I will go for OK. We will not do anything into this function module. Nothing. We'll just go to attributes tab. So far, you always, always created the regular function module. Now I will simply choose the radio button update module. I will just activate this function module. This is our update function module. Nothing. I will not go for any code, nothing, and no import export parameter because I just want to show you, yes, how, how, if I will go for calling of this function module in update task, how, how we can debug through update debugging. Now, what I will do, I will create a program. And in the program, I use this function module. Suppose I will write, Z demo update debugging so that everyone can do the practical for that purpose. I'm just creating a very simple example because detailed explanation is anyways there in additional or above concepts playlist. Demo on update function module. I will go for save. Okay, I'll just choose the type executable program and I will go for save. I will save this as a local object. Now I will call that function module. You all know you need to go to pattern button, pass the name of your function module. And yes, we will simply, simply use the word in update task so that I can show you, yes, it will not 
trigger whenever we will go for normal debugging. After commit work, control will come to this function module. And I'm simply writing commit work. Now I will simply, simply go for activate. Now I will put a breakpoint. Anyways, we do not have any import export parameter. Just small, small dev. I'm just going for running of this function or running of this program. System will go for desktop 3s in that debugging mode. So we have that desktop 3. Now, if I will do F5, system will not go inside this function module. Yes, we have on the update debugging, still system will not go inside this function module because whatever the code you have written using update task, it will trigger after commit work only. So whenever commit work will trigger, so whatever the logic you have written using update task, that logic will trigger. Now I am doing F5 or F6. Now you can see update debugging has been triggered. Yes. Now system will again go inside the debugging. And have you seen this is our function module which we called using update task. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you a very small demo that if you have a code, suppose what we did as a part of that, I created a function module. You can pass any function group. It is totally your wish. I choose the radio button update module in the attributes tab. I created a program. I called this function module in update task because our topic is this only. We want to see how, how we can go for update debugging. Then I run the program. When I run the program and I did F5, system will not go inside the function module, which is called in the update task because system call the update task, whatever the logic is written using update task after commit work only. Once commit work will be there, then system will trigger the code, which is written using update task. And at that time, yes, if you will go for debugging, system will again come into the update debugging. You will get a message, update debugging has been triggered and the control will come onto the code which is written using update task. Anyways, we have a dedicated videos on update function module and update task. You can learn from there. The major, major motto of adding these videos at this point of time in the debugging playlist is because in the same playlist, I am using update debugging so that you all can understand what update debugging is, how update task will work. So for that purpose, I just added these two videos so that we can understand this how we can go for the selection of checkbox of update debugging. For detailed understanding, yes, of update function module, you need to go for referring the topics of update function module in additional ABAP concept playlist. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.